Okay, greeting brother and sister, those who connect with us online. And uh, let's pray before we open the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, come and lighten our heart and our mind. So we can know your word, understand your word, and receive your word into our life so we can walk by faith. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are free to move and work among ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'd like to share with you today the subject that we're going to learn is based on one of the scripture. The title is He Who Believe in Me. This is what Jesus said. Let me read that scripture to you in the book of John chapter 14 verse 12. Truly, truly, I say unto you, he who believe in me, the works that I do, will he do also, and greater works than this will he do, because I go to the Father. It's interesting. This is what Jesus said, okay? Not anyone of the believer, not even the apostle, not any preacher, not any priest, not any elder, not any bishop. No, this is Jesus. Let me repeat, this is what Jesus said. I say unto you, this is what Jesus said, I say to you, 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 me, you, anyone. That's what Jesus said. He will he speak directly to the disciple that followed him. The same thing recorded here is to speak to us. No different. They are the disciple, we are the disciple. So no discrimination between them and us. So let me repeat again. Truly, truly, I say unto you, he who believe in me, because most of the disciple is men, so that's why Jesus is using he, but that doesn't mean limit to men only. Whoever, whoever believe in him, whoever believe in him, that's what Jesus says. Whoever believe in me, believe in Jesus, not believe in whoever found the church. No, believe in Jesus. You know, this day there is a lot of false Christ come and tell, tell people, oh, they can do everything, they can believe in Jesus in the book and so on and so forth, but they have to accept them before they can get to Zion. That's what they're using. Or salvation. No, Jesus said, believe in me. Remember before that? Before this verse, Jesus said, no one can come to the Father just through me only. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me, through Jesus, not through any one on this life beside Jesus. Why Jesus? You know, you and me, we should not accept Jesus if He just died, just like us, our Father, Grandfather, and so forth. But Jesus died and 
resurrection from the dead. So whatever he said need to be taken seriously because only God can give his life and can take his life back again. Here Jesus speak to you and me or anyone, any man, any woman, any, any young people, even any child can understand this word and believe. This is what Jesus is telling us. The work that I do, what did Jesus do? He preaching the kingdom of God. And he healed the sick. He cast out the demon. And open the eyes of the blind. And make the cripple walk. And heal the leprosy. And more. That's what Jesus and raised people from the dead. At least in the gospel, recorded four times, Jesus raised people from the dead. And he said, they will do the work that I do, will he do? It's interesting in English. He, instead of he does, but he do. Greater works than this will he do. Greater, not only do whatever Jesus do, but greater work. That's mean. What does it mean, greater? You know, some, some people, when they hear this section of the scripture reading, they say, oh, these people believe in the power of Holy Spirit and believe in all of this thing in the book of Acts. These people are prideful. No! We just repeat whatever Jesus speak to you and me and whoever believe in Jesus is the Son of God. That Jesus died in resurrection. That whoever believe, okay, we just repeat it. Not everyone can get to that point but Jesus offer that's what we can do we will do what he do we will do what he what Jesus do and even Jesus said the work that I do and the greater works than this will he do because I go to the Father. Oh, this is, Jesus said, when He died and resurrected and ascended to heaven, this is the power He gave it to us, whoever believe in Him, whoever dare to believe in His word. Why do we say dare? Not everyone dare to believe. <laughs> what do you say? People may say, what happened if what happened if I spit, nothing happened? What happened if we lay hand, no one healed? You know, that's alone already defeated. We need to have a simple heart. That's what Jesus said. If we don't become like a child, a child that means not ignorant, but simple heart. To receive the word of God like what he wants us to receive that's very important so Jesus said greater work that doesn't mean we can do bigger miracle than Jesus no raised from the dead that's the maximum that man can see people raised from the dead that's the maximum do you remember Jesus only have three years to do this? And Jesus is limited in human physical body. Just himself. And maybe the twelve people or the seventy people when he gave him the power. But Jesus here he's talking about himself and whoever believe. Only three years. 
He is limited in time. And he lived in space because he only go around in the small country called Israel. Israel. And only limit in number. Jesus talking by himself here. And maybe 12 disciples also, also limit in number. And maybe 70 limit in number. But whatever Whoever, whenever the number bigger than, remember the first day of Pentecostal? 3,000 people come to believe in Jesus. That's what he said. Greater work. If these people receiving Jesus when they are very young, they have long life, God willing. Not three years like Jesus to do the ministry of the kingdom. So, greater time, and greater number, and greater spacing, not only limit in the land of Judea, Samaria, that's it, that's what they call at that time. Samaria at the northern kingdom, Judea as the southern kingdom, the whole area called Israel, Israel. That's what Jesus said. Okay, here. Why don't we go back to the book of John, also chapter 1. And we see here. If we believe in Him, this is what Jesus said. In Him was life. So, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. In him was life. And the life is was the light of men. And the light shine in darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. This is very important. This is you know before we become Christian, before we accept in Christ. Even after we accept in Christ, when we accept in Jesus, we accepting life, and we accepting light into our heart. Has been our spirit. That's very important. The light of God dwell in our spirit. That's what Jesus said. And we, when we accept in Jesus, that's when we believe in Him. Believe in Him. Because we live in the time that after the resurrection. So that's what the Apostle Paul telling us. The Apostle Paul telling us if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the death, you will be saved. For with the heart man believe to righteousness and with the mouth he confessed to salvation. So when we believe in Jesus, we receiving salvation, we receiving life back to we receiving the redemption. We receiving the salvation and we see receiving the healing. We are receiving the deliverance, healing from sickness, and deliverance from the power of sin, from the power of death, and from the power of the devil. The life, not only living in this life, 
with the redemption, salvation, healing, deliverance, but unto the eternal life when Jesus coming back. The redemption and the salvation will be complete. Jesus Christ, when we're receiving Jesus into our heart, then we're receiving light, receiving life. Those two things. That's very interesting. Light. Okay, let's talking about life. Light. You see, every organism, organism, every being on this earth, including plants, animal, and us, we need light for the physical being to live, to survive, to have a life. But Jesus said, when we're receiving Him, it's going beyond the physical life. It's the spirit and the soul. That's what when when we're receiving Jesus, we're receiving life and life. That's very important. So that's why when Jesus, remember Jesus said, I am the life, I am the light of the world. So he's both. Remember when Jesus said in the book of Matthew about us, when we have Jesus and for him in, his, in our life. This is what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. Verse 14 to 16. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. When we receive in Jesus, we become the light of the world. That's what Jesus said. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Just like the light. Put on the light stand. It's going to shine everywhere. Nor does man light a lamp and put it under bush basket, but it's on the lamp stand. So the light, when you put on the lamp stand, is shining around, and everybody will see the way to go. It gave light to all who are in the house. That's very simple. Everybody understand that. Let your light, this is Jesus said, let your light, that means let Jesus is in you. That's very important. Because Jesus is light. Jesus is life. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good work and glorify your Father who is in heaven. This is what Jesus commanded us. Let your life, Jesus is in you, Jesus is in me. That's the challenge for all of us. In me, in you, that's me in our spirit. But Jesus giving a, a very good example that when the lamb, this means the lamb will give light. Put on the light, light stand, lamp stand. It's going to shine the whole house. But here Jesus say, when we receiving him, his life is dwell in our spirit. Inside the spirit, there is a body, there is emotion. The spirit is the part called living, being. That's the spirit. And the Bible using the words breath, talking about the spirit. When no breath, that means no life. When there is breath, 
there is life and there is light. When we are living, the life of spirit of Jesus is in us. And his light is in us. In our spirit. Okay. The spirit is carried by the body. And the spirit is also covered by the soul. By the mind, by the emotion, by the will. The innermost part of the being called breath, that the spirit, that where that where the spirit of Christ dwell in us. Okay, Jesus giving the example. The light dwell in us. Cannot be shine out. But he said, the light in us need to shine out. Need to shine out. Need to shine to the world. This is what he said. You are the light of the world. Okay, if the light is inside the spirit, dwell in the spirit, and is covered by the body, and is covered by the soul, it cannot be. Because the, sh the soul, what is the soul? The feeling, happy, angry, covetous, and all kind of different characters. In Vietnamese, we call seven emotion character. That will preventing the light. Be shy, just like the cover, just like Jesus giving example. We have the line, nor do men like the lamb and put under the bushel basket. The bushel basket is an example of our soul and our body. In order to have the light in the spirit shining out, the bushel basket either need to be burned or broken. That's very important thing. You see, our mind prevent us to believe in what Jesus because our mind want to rationalize everything Jesus said our emotion will fear will doubt whatever Jesus say like Jesus said in the book of Mark those who believe in, in me this sign shall follow in my name, they cast out demons. When they lay hand on the sick, the sick will be healed. Our mind, our soul, and our feeling with fear that we inherit from Adam and Eve will preventing us. So, the soul part need to be subjugated to the spirit or need to be broken need to be basically jesus say die with him on the cross daily when our when our fear die that means we have no fear in what jesus said and then we will test it we will obey and act on it. You see that? So that's why the soul and the flesh, just like the bushel basket, cover the light. The light of Jesus is in the spirit. Need to have a breakthrough or the bushel basket need to be broken or need to die that's what it is brokenness means die the fear need to broken the feeling is need to be broken the afraid people tell you oh it's not work need to be broken and this hand when the fear is gone and the 
fear is controlled by the spirit. And then the mind controlled by the spirit. And this hand will act as the spirit based on the words of God. Like Jesus said, who who he believe in me will do greater thing. Will do what I do. And many of us, if all of us get to the point, our faith can receiving the word of Jesus in very simple way that many of us can do greater work than Jesus or only limit to 70 disciples at the time. Very important. The soul and the flesh is cover the light and the life that Jesus dwell in our spirit need to be broken in order for the light to be shine. In order for the life that the life of resurrection of Jesus dwell in us can flow out pass through the soul pass through the spirit and remember Paul his apron his clothes his shirt can throw on the people the people get healed that means the power of God inside of the spirit flowing through the fear broken through the body and then touch the clothes that clothes still carry the power of resurrection of Jesus when it's touch people the people get healed and when it's touch the demon possessed the demon possessed get set free. It's very important. We need to understand this principle. And you know the power flowing out of the Spirit of Jesus dwell in us will bring healing, willing will bring deliverance to the people, to the world. That's what Jesus said. The light shine to the world. That means the light and also the life will touch the world, touch the people, touch the need of the people. It's very important, brother and sister. We need to dwell in this world and meditate in this world and pray that the Holy Spirit is the one that helping us to have the faith. That faith that overcome the fear of the soul, overcome the afraid of losing faith of the feeling, overcome the afraid of reaching out the hand, touching people and pray for them in need. Only the faith given by the Holy Spirit will help us to overcome to die to the soul to die to the the flesh on the cross with Jesus so the faith that we believe in salvation not only to salvation alone but that can become the faith of salvation of the spirit, of the soul, and of the body. For sure the body, all of us will go back to dust. But when Jesus comes, that faith will raise us back in the body, in the resurrection day. But in the meantime, brother and sister, our faith will bring salvation, bring healing and deliverance to the world indeed. Let's look at 